So we've been talking about the military. Now let's talk about the money. And this is a Fox News alert. Financial markets worldwide essentially are tanking right now, feeling the impact of Mr. Putin's aggression. Dow futures plunging as the Moscow exchange suspends all stock trading because people are trying to short the stock. And while markets drop, crude oil now surging above $100 a barrel for the first time since 24. And here to break it all down for us, what it means for you, your family, your, your pocketbook, the host of Varney & Company, an American built on Fox Business, Stuart Varney. Good morning, Stuart. Good morning, all. So hey. Dow futures down, they're plunging. Yep. What does this mean for the American family? And gas prices are going to go up again, I assume? Okay, let's have a look at the impact on us here in America. First off, gasoline prices are going to go up. We've got the price of oil at $100 a barrel this morning. Currently, we've got about $3.50 for a gallon of gas regular across the country. I think it's going to go to $4 fairly quickly. And I would not be at all surprised to see people lining up this morning at the gas station, fill up the tank while you can at that particular price, because you know it's going higher. Right. Nat gas prices going up. That means it's going to cost more to heat your home. Overall, energy prices are at the root cause of inflation. When energy prices go up, and they are going up rapidly, inflation goes up. So you're going to pay more at the grocery store. You're going to pay more to deliver your stuff. You're going to pay more to have it made in the first place. Energy price inflation will make our current inflation even worse. Now, if you go to the stock market, about 100 million Americans have some exposure to the market, usually through their 401k. The market is, I'm not going to say plunging, but it's down very, very sharply. So the money you've got in your 401k, already down 10, 15 percent this year, probably going to go down some more. Um, I, if I just have one more quick word here, the president is going to announce what sanctions, new sanctions, he's going to impose. If he imposes sanctions on Russian oil and gas companies, and he may, that will make our energy price inflation even worse here, because we already take delivery of Russian oil. Most people don't know that, but we actually import oil from Russia, of all sure. places. Last year, we imported 230 million barrels Thank you. of oil <laughs> from Russia. Precisely <laughs> right. Now, if you cut that off, what does that do to the right. supply and demand situation? Well, since 2017, we have uh, taken... It We've taken in this country 55% more Russian oil. By the way, the Russian ruble is sliding to its lowest value ever today in Russia. The Russian now, people are going to pay a price for Oh, this. absolutely. Inflation will take off in Russia. But we're going to, uh, Stuart, to your point, Americans are going to pay too. And we knew this was going to happen. We knew that if uh, Putin did what he's doing, prices would go up and we would be hurt. And our White House correspondent asked Jen Psaki about it yesterday, knowing exactly what would happen. Listen to her answer. It's very telling. Gas in California is almost $5 a gallon. Should people across the country expect to see that kind of a number when they go to gas up their car? $5, $6? Well, again, I think as you heard the president say last week, uh, standing up for our values is not without cost. What we're trying to do is minimize that cost. So I don't have a prediction of it right now because we're trying to minimize the impact on the global energy markets. So because we're standing up for our values, and apparently we're only standing up uh, with sanctions backing us up, uh, that's why our gas is going to go up a buck or two. Uh, I don't know about a buck or two, but I think $4 for a gallon of regular gasoline as a national average, I think that is on the near horizon. I think it's going to happen. And if the president sanctions Russian oil and gas companies, it'll go up much faster than that. Right. For, forgive me kind of digging into this a little bit, but I, I, I'd love to understand it better. So we know that the, the Biden administration, you know, through the Keystone XL pipeline and, and not yes. allowing additional exploration, they've limited our ability to be energy independent. We already know that. What in particular about what's going down in Ukraine with Russia drives those oil prices so high? Is it, is it a restriction in the amount that they're able to export? Is it limits because of our sanctions? How exactly does that? Because we're going to start to hear um, a conflation from this administration. Well, the reason we have inflation and the reason we have high oil prices is because of Ukraine, Ukraine only. We know it's more than that. No, you've got, to go, back, you've got to go back to the very first day of the Biden administration when they cancel the Keystone Pipeline and then cut back on the drilling for oil and natural gas and restricted our energy independence. That gave Putin leverage because he is a petrostate, essentially. You cut our supplies, you rely on his supplies, you've got a petrostate, we're right. in trouble. And, and Stuart, look at that map right there. 
Russia is Europe's gas station. Uh, it is, absolutely. And if that's cut up, can you imagine what's going on in Germany right now? Mm. Already, the cost of electricity, which is vital in manufacturing their cars, it's already five times the price mm. of electricity here and is mm. going way up from there. Now, gas supplies, probably going to be restricted or cut off completely. They're, they're going to freeze. Yeah. It, it's a really difficult situation for the Europeans and for us at the moment. What, but look, what? when we lost our energy independence, we gave Putin leverage. When we withdrew from Afghanistan in chaos, we looked like we were fumbling, mm -hmm. looked like we were weak. You combine that original energy mistake with the withdrawal from Afghanistan and the weakness which we was perceived about us, that's why Putin's doing what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Do you My think, personal opinion. Do you think oh. the president will ever forego the Green New Deal and bring back the Keystone Pipeline so that we can be energy independent and we can fund or we can send oil to some of these countries that are our allies that are going to be affected by Russia? That is exactly what he should do. Reverse course on energy now. But I don't think he will. Well, because he would anger his base, yes. who put him in office. Um, so let's talk about something else. Apparently, right now, Ukraine, in addition to bomb, uh, rather, missiles being targeted at their military installations, apparently hackers are uh, wreaking havoc cyber-wise on banks and other big institutions in Ukraine. Mm. It's just a matter of time until they start trying to do that here. I would imagine that's part of the threat. We take sanctions against them. We take action against them they take cyber action against us. Mm -hmm. I mean, surely that's part of the game plan here, isn't it? What am I missing? Mm -hmm. You would think so. Uh, is there anything Americans can do to protect themselves other than don't click on that link, you don't know what the heck it is? I'm not sure how I can advise anybody to... You're uh, not going to cyber security. You're, you know. you're the money guy. I have enough trouble myself, so I'm not going to engage in that. Real quick, real quick what's the financial situation in Russia? Oh, uh, a, a real problem. Um, Interest rates in Russia, the classic Russian bond, the interest rate on it has gone well above 10%. What? Wow. Here, it's 1.8%. Mm -hmm. So financing anything in Russia is extremely expensive. And at the same time, you've got inflation in Russia, which is about to take off. I mean, literally take off. Uh, the, the Russian oil and gas companies, what have we got here? We've got Gazprom and Rosneft, right? The two big oil and gas companies in Russia. Overnight, they lost one-third of their value, right. just Stuart, like that. Wow. Uh, down, uh, Stuart, down in the corner of our uh, live picture of Moscow right now, uh, you can yep. see that apparently the Dow Jones Industrial Futures oh, yeah. are down about 850 uh, with the stock market opening in less than three hours. Everyone loses. Everyone loses on this. That's right. the way it is. Uh, you will have coverage about this and so many other things yeah. starting at 9 o'clock Eastern over on Fox Business. Thanks, everyone. Thank Thanks, you. Stuart.